Hi, welcome, and a special thanks to all our subscribers. Here's another short video for you, inspired once more by a walk in the north of Scotland. Our group usually sets out from the centre of Pitlochry. But every year there's a train trip to Rannoch Moor in the Western Highlands. We walk in the shadow of Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in Scotland, and our trek takes us through peatlands. But what is peat exactly? Well, it's partially decomposed vegetation that accumulates over time in waterlogged conditions. Peat's deeper layers were often formed from ancient forests. Carbon is preserved in peatlands because shallow water tables slow down decomposition. That's why peatlands are such significant and lasting reservoirs of carbon. Healthy peatlands support unique vegetation. These are living ecosystems. Peat continues to form layer upon layer, slowly but steadily. In fact, peatlands are classified as one of the world's eight main terrestrial ecosystems. And they are immensely important for the services they provide, including holding and filtering water. On our walk, there's peat as far as the eye can see. And you may not realise it, but peat is a huge reservoir of carbon. Peatlands, in green here, cover only 3% of the global land area, yet they hold twice as much carbon as all the world's forests combined. In fact, one hectare of deep peatland can hold five times as much carbon as the equivalent area of tropical rainforest. But peat is under threat everywhere. Let's look at each risk in turn. The biggest threat globally is drainage to change peatlands into farmland or plantations. Here's a landscape in England where peat was drained some hundred years ago to convert it to pasture. Peatlands stay wet because of the water table beneath them. The problem is that when water is removed by drainage, peat decomposes aerobically and releases carbon dioxide the main greenhouse gas. What's more, when peatlands are dry, biodiversity decreases because vegetation cannot thrive. And dry peat is more likely to catch fire. After all, it's carbon rich and burns well when dry. Peat may also dry out because of climate change. Peat fires are the ultimate risk, and that's happening more and more. Another threat is the continuing use of peat as fuel. Astonishingly, dried and compressed peat briquettes are still on sale locally. There are less dirty and more eco-friendly alternatives, like sustainable firewood. Things are changing in peat-rich Scotland, Restoration of peatlands is underway, and that's a form of sustainable land management. There are efforts to block drainage and plans to ban sales of peat for fuel or for use in garden compost. Peatlands hold a huge pool of carbon within a few metres of the ground surface, and their top, living layer, is sequestering additional carbon all the time. Safeguarding peatlands is a priority. Find out more about peatlands in our free SRM online course. You can find the full course and other videos too on our YouTube channel. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.